Hey everybody, here we're going to uh, compare numbers again using algebra skills, using our place values on this, okay? So we're going to look at the hundreds digits, the tens digits, and the ones digits, okay? Alright, so how do we compare three digit numbers is our question here. So we're going to draw quick pictures to solve the problem. So, so here we go. So there were 125 butterflies and 132 birds at the park yesterday. Well, it'd be hard to count those butterflies and birds while they're flying around, I would think, but I don't know. Anyway, were there more butterflies or more birds at the park? Okay, so it says draw a quick picture. So here's uh, the hundred that represents this one for the hundreds place. The two tens represents these two ten sticks right here, and then the five ones is these five ones. Let's do the same thing for 132. So we're going to have a hundreds blocks. We're going to have three of these for the for the tens and then two ones right there. So there's the uh, 132. Okay, so which ones were more at the park yesterday? Okay, well they both had a hundred in there. And then we look at the next uh, digit. So the tens digit. This has two tens. This one has three tens. So three tens is greater than two tens. We don't even need to look at the ones. We're looking at the tens digit. So, so there were more birds at the park. Okay. All right, all right, and then so this is asking, explain how we compared the numbers, okay? So they both had the same amount of hundreds flats, these guys right here. So the next, we looked at the 10 sticks, so these guys. This one has two, this one has three. So the birds had more 10 sticks, so there were more birds, okay? So we don't have to look at the ones, we look at the at the tens if the, if the ones are, if the hundreds are equal, sorry. So we're going to use place value to compare numbers, starting by looking at the digits <clears throat> in the greatest place value position. Okay, so if it's pointing that way, it is, it's said to be is greater than. If it's pointing this way, it is less than, and this means that they're equal to. Okay, and we always have the pointer go to the less number, and it's opened up at the bigger number. I don't know if you heard like the alligator eats the bigger number, or Pac-Man eats the bigger number. I don't have those uh, with me right now, but this uh, the open end is always pointing towards the larger number, so it says it's greater than. And um, so here's two examples right here. Okay, all right. So we want to compare which one is bigger. Okay, so this one we start with the the greatest uh, place value, which is the hundreds right here. So we start here. Four is less than five, so four hundreds is less than five hundreds, which just means four. this number here, 483, is going to be less than 570 right there. Okay, and then over here, the hundreds are the same, so now we got to go to the tens right here. Okay, so five tens is greater than, so we put, remember, it's opened up to the greater one, and it points at the smaller number. So 5 is greater than 4, so 352, this 352 is greater than 346 right there. Okay, all right, so um, uh, compare, write, less than, what's one of them should be greater than. Uh, I think it goes greater than, less than, let me change that, greater than, um, less than, or equal to, okay, so copy that and paste it as we're going okay so let's look here so 2 is greater than 1 so that means 239 is greater than 179 so this is the greater number so the open part of the arrow the arrow always points at the smaller number right there okay so um, uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and just well let's just focus on this that's what it is I just took all that out so so it's greater than okay all right let's do the next one here okay so this one uh, the fours are the same so we go to the tens digits the tens digits are also the same so now we go to the ones digits five is less than seven so 435 is going to be less than 437 it's going to go that way right there okay all right let's do numbers three and four right here okay so over here seven is so just look at the hundreds digits first seven is greater than six so 764 is greater than 674 so we point it at the smaller number so it's going to be uh it's going to be that direction right there okay all right so here the fives are the same here the tens digit the 1 is less than the 7, so 519 is going to be less than 572 right there. Okay, 
All right, so write a three-digit number in the box that makes the comparison true. Okay, so we can put in any number. There's infinite numbers that we can put into here that's bigger. We want a bigger number than 526. Okay, so I did a real obvious one. You can do any number, but 526 is less than 639. Okay, all three of these digits are greater than all three of these digits. Okay. 319 is going to be greater than, we just got to do a number that's smaller than 319, like 309. Okay, threes are matching up, so we look at the next one. One is greater than zero, so that means 319 is greater than 309. Okay, over here, 782, we just want to do a bigger number than 782. I did 792. We can do any number here. Uh, we could do 921 or whatever, just as long as it's greater. So the sevens here are the same, but the tens digits, this nine is greater than that eight right there. All right, so we've got to pick a number that's, um, uh, that's less than, so a smaller number over here than 131. So I did 123. Okay, and uh, here the tens digit is less than that tens digit right there. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a good time in math, and take care.